For a patient who has had a venous thromboembolism, how do you deal with the high risk of recurrence after anticoagulants are discontinued? We know that aspirin may be effective in preventing a recurrence of venous thromboembolism, but now in the New England Journal of Medicine, researchers report on a randomized study of almost 1,000 patients who had completed initial anticoagulant therapy and then received aspirin or placebo, the aspirin being 100 milligrams daily. What they found was that during a median follow-up of three years, venous thromboembolism recurred at a rate of 6.5% per year versus 4.8% per year, which does not quite make statistical significance at P equals 0.09. However, don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. These data also show that aspirin also reduced the rate of two pre-specified secondary composite outcomes. The rate of venous thromboembolism, MI, stroke, or cardiovascular death was reduced by 34% at a rate of 8% per year with placebo versus 5.2% per year with aspirin. And the rate of venous thromboembolism, myocardial infarction, stroke, major bleeding, or death from any cause was reduced by 33%. If you wonder what the bleeding rates were, you can be reassured because there was no significant difference in the rates of bleeding episodes. So, in this study, aspirin, as compared with placebo, did not significantly reduce the rate of recurrence of venous thromboembolism, but resulted in a significant reduction in the rate of major vascular events with improved net clinical benefit. These results substantiate earlier evidence of a therapeutic benefit of aspirin when it's given to a patient after initial anticoagulant therapy for a first episode of unprovoked venous thromboembolism. An accompanying editorial sums it up beautifully. Here's a quote. Among patients with unprovoked venous thromboembolism who have completed initial anticoagulation, aspirin would seem to be a reasonable option for long-term dual prevention of recurrent venous thromboembolism and arterial cardiovascular events. I'm Peter Block, and this is a CardioSource Arc Minute.